Johnson and Johnson <laughs> vaccine. Tell us about that. What's the difference? Just give us sort of an overview. Yeah, so the Johnson Johnson vaccine is uh, here, and uh, we're getting ready for big big push out this weekend on Saturday. And uh, the Johnson Johnson vaccine has has some nice advantages over the others. N- number one, it's a single dose um, to get you know to get you done, one and done. So that's good. You said big. Second pardon me. Is, you said big rollout. What uh, or or kind of implied yeah. that? What's the deal? Where's yeah. it going to be? How do I get mine, et cetera? Yeah. Well, let me finish the first thought. The second big advantage is it has fewer side effects than the than the Pfizer and Moderna vaccine. So I think a lot of people will be happy about that. The um, so Saturday we're planning a big uh, vaccination clinic out at the. Brookshire's Arena, which used to be the Century Tell Center, but it's now the Brookshire's Arena. And we've got about 4,000 doses of, of the Johnson Johnson vaccine that we would like to uh, vaccinate folks all day Saturday. We'll start vaccinating at 9 o'clock in the morning, and uh, we'll have 12 drive through lanes there, uh, very efficient and uh, ready to really um, get a lot of vaccine out into the community. Now, you you have to pre... You're hoping folks will pre-register for this event Saturday, correct? Yes. Pre, you know, pre-registration definitely helps us, but it is not required. You know, some folks just don't have computer access or not, not computer, uh, um, you know, ready. So uh, we'll, we'll register folks on site. That's not a problem at all. Uh, but we definitely want folks to come out and get get vaccinated. And this is still for those people who meet the criteria, sixty five and above, right. no this, questions asked, and 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 who else? So fifty five and above. I mean, sixty five and above, no questions asked. Um, fifty five to sixty four who have qualifying conditions per the governor's directive. Uh, so that includes uh, cancer, uh, immune suppressive conditions or on immune suppressive medications like organ transplant recipients. That includes uh, patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD. Um, That includes um, a couple more on the list. Obesity. Uh, Diabetes type Mm -hmm. 2, obesity, uh, smokers. Uh, all of those are qualifying conditions. Yeah. Doc, what's the, I don't even know if this is the right terminology, the chemical difference between the Johnson & Johnson and the Moderna and the Pfizer? Explain that to us. Sure. So the the Moderna and Pfizer are, remember we call those mRNA vaccines, and remember that, that, that gives the recipe to make the spike protein so our immune system can learn about it. In this case, the Johnson Johnson vaccine is actually a, um, a common cold virus they've they've taken out its essential parts so it doesn't make you sick with a cold it can't be transmitted but it's a it's a virus called an adenovirus and they've simply put in the genetic material for that uh spike protein same spike protein and um and that way it, it educates your immune system by uh getting into your cells just like the other other uh, vaccines do and producing a little bit of spike protein and then your immune system says that's not us and we chops it up and educates the rest of the body about it okay we're going to toss you into the controversy pot this morning you ready um catholic diocese of new orleans is urging catholics not to get the johnson and johnson vaccine uh, mm-hmm. The bishop in Baton Rouge, who used to be What's here, the term? moral, com- morally compromised. Morally compromised. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, you disagree, and and I hope people will get whichever well, one's available, huh? Well, I I, I think that the um, so it's a complicated issue, and, and and I'm Catholic too, and I I understand the concerns about the vaccine and how it was produced. The um, the National Catholic Bioethics Center has has said that, you know, folks should make an informed decision about the vaccine and and for Catholics and others who are who are um, you know, strong pro life folks, they may choose to get a different vaccine, which is okay. I mean the the point here is that we want folks to get vaccinated. And these are all good vaccine options for uh, for folks to get. So just to review one more time, Saturday morning starting, give us the details once again before we let you go. Yeah, so Saturday morning at the Brookshire's Arena, uh, enter from the the east side, the, the, the back of the 
the, bar, uh, the Barksdale side of the arena, and uh, start. We'll start vaccinating at nine o'clock. We'll be there till four o'clock. We'll have twelve drive-through lanes. Uh, over two hundred volunteers signed up to to go. We've got pharmacists, nurses from all over the community coming to help us. Um, Oshner LSU Health is, is supporting our event and working with us on that. So that's a big uh, boost to our community activity. And um, we look forward to seeing lots of folks out there to get vaccinated.